for watching. Women, friends, fans, followers. Aren't you sick and tired of being sick and tired each month? Of dreading that time in the month when your PMS rolls? Haven't you just had it with the debilitating, horrible cramps that ruin your life? Of repeatedly ending up in the ER when your menstrual migraines hit you like a 10-pound sledgehammer? Of the pain and anxiety and stress that occurs when your endometriosis flares every month? If this is you... Let me share with you some options that can help you hopefully go to a better, more natural place that will give you help in transforming to a better place with less risk for cancers and a better quality of life. Who am I? Why should you listen to me? My name is Dan Purser. I'm an MD. A lot of you know me. A lot of you have read my books or heard me speak or seen me speak or seen other videos I produced. I've had several number one hits, uh, best-selling books on Amazon. I speak all over the world. I do endocrinology research in this area, I'm including a textbook I wrote on preventive medicine. I educate physicians and patients and the public about all this stuff. So hopefully that gives you a little social proofing so you'll listen to me and, and hear what I have to say. I've helped hundreds of women uh, get off the synthetics and birth control pill and narcotics merry-go-round and get them to transform and help them to transform to a better, more natural place. And that's where I want to take you if you'll listen. So why don't we start with an interview with Beth. She's a patient of mine, a great lady, really love her, super nice. And hear me interview her, and we'll go from there. Thank you again for listening. So. Beth, for what reason or symptoms did you first come to see me? I was tired a lot, had a lot of um, cramping with my period, and face complexion was awful, horrible, and generally just didn't feel myself, felt like I was quite a bit older than my age. I was 33, I think, when I came to see you. Okay. Quite so. How many years ago was that? Mm, over 10. Wow, it's been that long. Yeah, it's been that okay. long. So how did you first hear about me from him? I first heard about you through my church. Oh, okay. And I first heard about you through you. Oh, okay. <laughs> and your lovely your wife. Yeah. So what was your major medical problems? You had your, your symptoms and all that. My main issue was um, just the tired all the time. I felt like just couldn't... Function. Function. Things were, things were hard to do. Even just little chores were hard to do. And I didn't know what was wrong, and the doctor said I was just fine. And so I tried to believe it. So what, what were they giving you? Any medications at all or anything? I was on a birth control at the time. Did it scare you? A little bit because what they... What they did, it was um, one of those that goes right in your uterus, so that did a scare marina. me a little bit. Yeah, that did scare me a little bit. Okay. So did they ever look for root causes or dig a little deeper with No, you? I, in fact, because my periods were so painful and I had a lot of digestive upset, you know, around that, thought my problems could be possibly linked to that. Actually went to even see a, a, a specialist and... They couldn't link them up. They couldn't, you know, they didn't, yeah, they couldn't link it up. And they didn't think it was, I guess hormones weren't the word that you even used when you're in that doctor's office. I don't know. Did I link those two up? I oh, thought they were you, related, didn't I? You absolutely did. Yeah, the I'm second good. I walked in the office, you said, you need it. I can see it on your face. And what did I give you? Progesterone. And you liked it? Yeah, it worked very well for me. Still is? Still is. <laughs> Ten plus years later, still works phenomenally. So, how many progesterone do you take? The RDTs or the capsules? I do the RDTs. Yeah. How many do you take? I take. I'm prescribed between one and. Well, I can't remember the rest, but okay. right around there. But I, you, you told me, you know, just take how you feel, and I'm taking about four right now. Okay, and you like that? It seems to work. Well it works well. great. Four yeah. works great. Makes my skin great. Helps my mental attitude. Helps my focus. It creates a sense of well-being. I feel like my hormones are being balanced. Do you sleep well? 
very well because of it. Can you run and work out and stuff like that? Um, I haven't been able to run for a personal injury in my neck, oh. but I would love to get back to it, yeah. You used to run a lot, did a you? A lot, after you were on daily. Because like, I'd see you out running every day. Yeah. Day. Okay. So were you scared to try these hormones when you first started off? You know, that's a good question. Um, being science-minded, I kind of looked it up. And everybody gets the scare because the, the biggest thing they know about is the animal hormone yeah. from the mares. I can't remember what that's called, Premarin. Yeah. Yeah, and so... How did you get the equine estrogens? Okay, there we go. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I trusted you, and I'm so glad because it helped and still does help. Um, Were you a little skeptical? Not only, but it helps oh. not only my physical, but my mental well-being. That was what... The combination of the two really does, was it? powerful yeah. for me. Yeah, it was. So you like these more natural options? A hundred percent, hundred percent. How has your life been different because of this natural treatment therapy you've been getting? Well, I feel like I am adding to what's in my body, what's there, and so I'm building the way that it was meant to. I'm balancing the way that my body was meant to be balanced. And I, I do, I will, I will use uh, alternative methods whenever I can. Most women tend to prefer those, don't Yeah, they? I think so. So your PMS is gone? Gone. You sleep better? Sleep much better. Your Go to sleep faster. Your are gone? There, I have no pain. No pain. And so, I can always tell if I need to go up on my um, progesterone, like we talked about, right. before my period, because I'll get just an ever so slight, you know, cramping, and that helps me to know, oh, you're getting close to that, and up your progesterone a little bit helps with everything. I don't get PMS anymore. So, uh, so do you feel like you're a lot more hopeful now for your future? Hunter, yeah, it's an antidepressant. It is a natural antidepressant, 100%. What, what would this have cost you if you'd not, health-wise, if you'd not been put on these? What would have happened? What do you think, where do you think you'd be? Uh, probably clinically depressed. <laughs> I have... Um, I have a number of good uh, methods to keep health in my body. And when I found this specific, this progesterone, I feel like it has enhanced every aspect of my life. What have I done with my life? Yeah. Um, I'm breeding Great Danes. I'm one of the well, most foremost Great Dane breeders in Utah now. Cool, a lot of people are gonna see this video. Really? Cool. Oh. Do you have a website? I do, I do have a website. Give them the website. It's sagemountaindanes.com. And if uh, you have to have strength and you have to have mobility and you have to have mental um, acuteness in order to have do a breed of dog like this. And this uh, progesterone has made my life livable. It's made my life wonderful and it's helped me realize that I can live my dreams. Not just the progesterone, but the whole natural diagnostic approach and approach we take. It's all helped, wouldn't you say? Everything. Yeah. Everything yeah. has made a difference. It's Everything. a little more reasonable way to do this. Natural. Yeah. You haven't been laser bladed. You haven't had to have a hysterectomy no. or any of that stuff. Okay. No, Good. I have had a wonderful health in uh, uh, history. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, did you enjoy that? So for the next few videos, I'm going to share with you tricks and tips and coping strategies to help you transform to a better, more natural place to help you with your PMS, your menstrual migraines, and your endometriosis. I'm going to help you understand why you should want to transform away from the synthetics and the narcotics and all those kind of things that you're taking now that scare you, that give you a risk for cancer, that give you a risk for clots. And I'll show you the literature and educate you as to why there are better options out there. I'm not looking for new patients. I'm just trying to help you. I'm just trying to educate you and transform you. I'll help physicians around you find you as a patient, though, if you want. I'll help you find a patient. I'll show you tricks how to do that too. So come with me. Hang with me. Let's have fun over the next few videos. I need some help from you too. If you could please leave your comments and messages below. I'll try to answer everything. Remember HIPAA. We don't want to violate HIPAA. So you want to talk about friends. Friends, don't leave dates of birth, things like that. Don't ask me questions personally about you. I can't answer them. And I'll try and answer everyone's questions. And we'll have a lot of fun doing this. And let's see what we can do and how I can help you improve your life. Thank you. My name is Dan Purser, uh, Dr. Dan Purser. And God bless and go in good health.